production goes to support V-Day, um, which is an organization that enables anybody to do the vagina monologue. You have to give permission. Um, Eve Ensler, the writer, creator of V-Day and the vagina monologue, started as a book. Then she did it on HBO. And now colleges, universities, people like us, everywhere, all over the world, in multiple countries, do productions of this show around January, February, March, and April every year. She's Eve. She's we'll be here next week. Wednesday, Wednesday at Bustle yes. Awards. It's the 14th at B Street location. Yes. Flagship location was 6.30, so mark that down. Get there soon. Um, but yeah, tell me, do you feel that you, you drove home? You touched the people with, with the substance, with the, what it's really about. You feel me? You know what? I, I think we did. Mm -hmm. And what was unique about our production and our audience that was amazing um, this time around was that it was a completely... LGBT cast. It was all a lesbian cast, bisexual, and we also had a, um, a lovely um, NTF trans, transgender woman who participated in the show. And the show, the script, as you can attest, is not a it's not a gay show. Yeah, it's not, not at all. It's just about the vagina. But yeah. and so it was important for us, though, as lesbians, to me, to participate in this dialogue, this global dialogue about fighting violence against women and girls, and then having the opportunity to expand that. And it's not just about people who are born women and girls, but you know, we queer folks. So just stopping violence against people because of whatever their gender identity, gender expression, their difference, the things that make us different. And I think that, you know, maybe everybody wasn't shaken up by the rape, you know, pieces or anything like that, but that's not what it's about. It's about each of those individual stories. Some of them are funny, mm -hmm. some of them are coming of age mm -hmm. stories, and just realizing, you know what, vagina, cunt, pussy, twat, these aren't bad it's words, a, it's what we it's have, accept it, love it, and, and I think that that's what people walked away with, that's what I hope people walked away with. And, there was enough variety for people to be touched by something. What's the new class? There's no way they didn't leave. Well, they said so. When they left, they asked them the door. They said they really enjoyed the performance. And uh, it's something that we wanted to have a So if you don't have a ticket, you need to come to the after party. Yeah, because the show is sold out. So if you haven't got your tickets, you're not going to get them. You might come and smile at me. Well, maybe. The maybe. You know, the show's been sold out. For a while, the show sold out in in about I, it was under three weeks. Yeah. Wow. Under three weeks in January, the show show sold out. So that lets us know we can get a bigger venue yes. next year. Next year. Oh, but it was exciting this year, and um, there was a little bit of room in the back. So if you stop by, and there's room in the back, you know, right before the show starts, you might be able to squeeze in. But don't count on it. Standing room. Standing, standing room. room only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing room only. But but don't count. I enjoyed, well, look, I enjoyed the vagina monologues. It left a lasting impression on my life. I feel like going home, getting the mirror, spreading the legs, and checking it out. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's what might have been a little bit too much. But if you were here, it wouldn't have been. But I want to thank Miss Denise. Thank you so much. I want to thank Miss Breeze. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, so, sis, and I'm out. <laughs>